My name is Catherine Alexander. I'm in the New World School of the Arts opera program in the college division, and I'm now receiving my BM degree. New World School of the Arts is a great institution in the way that they prepare you for everything. It's very extensive. We have pianists, we have vocal teachers, we have staging directors. Everybody gets together to really prepare you. They give you the music, they give you the time. It's, we start out at, at a level where Everything is very understandable, very doable. Everyone um, gets together, learns everything together. We analyze the pieces, we analyze the characterizations, we analyze the staging, we give reasons to everything. If, if you do a gesture, there's always a reason behind it. They teach us those things to really get into the, the character's head. It's very, um, even with the melodies and everything that we sing, it's very important that we understand why we're singing it because that way we can relate to the audience and it's not just that you're up there singing, you have there's a method to and a reason to what you're doing, which is very important. This year we did the production of Chima Rosa's Il Matrimonio Segreto, which is the secret marriage. My role was that of Fidalma, and I'm a wealthy widow, and I fall in love with a younger man who is actually working in my household, and he is actually married secretly to my niece. So it's quite the uh, drama and comedy at the same time. My most challenging situation in playing this role was definitely getting into character and getting into the mindset of a widow, of a widow that's longing for young love. What would she think? How would she act? What would her mannerisms be? How would she sing? What would her tone sound like? What would the colors sound like um, in different aspects, in the love scene, in the scenes where she doesn't want anyone to discover that she's going after him, things like that. That was a little bit challenging because I'm playing a much older character at 23. The rehearsal process for The Secret Marriage was very dynamic. It was new for Don Westwood, as it was for us. We'd never done anything like this, so he was very open. He would always tell us every rehearsal, if you have an idea, if you have anything that you want to suggest to me or anything, go ahead and do it, try it out, feel it out. He's very hands-on. He likes to, he likes for us to feel comfortable because he knows a comfortable artist equals a comfortable audience. The most rewarding thing in me presenting this opera this year, first of all, is that it's my last production. And looking back four years ago, I was not where I am now. So I looked back and I said to myself, I've done I've been in the opera every single year that I've been here. And I feel this sense of pride, this sense of I'm ready to go out into the real world and pursue what it is that I'm meant to do. I would love, well, every opera singer's dream is to work at the Metropolitan Opera, which is in New York City. I would love to work there, but before I get there, I would like to conquer Miami. I would like to conquer the city that I was born in and give them what they've given me which is music. The opera scene in Miami and South Florida in general, I think is underestimated. I think we have a lot to take advantage of. I don't think that people pay attention enough. I don't think people pay attention enough to the culture, to the richness. I think Miami is one of the most exciting places in the world to be. And I think People don't really realize that because they're too busy living their day-to-day -day lives. There's many things around us. I mean, we're in downtown Miami. It's what more could you ask for? Every turn, there's something exciting going on.